The scene is the inside of a small stationery store called Paper Moon Cards and Gifts. Daisy is the store's owner, and she's behind the cashier's counter when man walks through the door. A small bell rings as the door opens and closes. Come on in, look around. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Oh, thanks. Everything's 50 to 75% off. Thanks, I will. Uh, I, I just came in for a card. Well, they're all right there on the back wall. You got plenty to choose from. We've got wedding cards, baby cards, birthday cards, Easter cards, although it's late this year. What's late? Easter. Well, how can it be late? Doesn't the Pope just decide when it's going to be? Easter falls on the first Sunday, following the first ecclesiastical full moon that occurs on or after the day of the vernal equinox. Yeah, I know. It has nothing to do with the Pope. Well, that's going to come as news to a lot of people. Uh, how do you happen to know that off the top of your head? Do you know how many people have come in here over the past 22 years like their hair was on fire? Oh, my God. Easter snuck up on me. I need a bag of fake grass and a dozen plastic eggs. Quick. <laughs> that's funny. I haven't really thought about Easter in years. When is it, by the way? April 17th. Oh, good to know. All the leprechauns should be sobered up by then. <laughs> I guess so. Did you find a car? Oh, I'm still looking. I'm surprised it's so quiet in here when you got your big sale going on. It's not just a big sale. I'm afraid it's my going out of business sale. Well, I don't mean to tell you how to go out of business, but... You don't have any going out of business signs. I think if you want to get people in here, you might want to hang a sign or run up some streamers or something. I'm trying to keep the vultures at bay, at least for a little while longer. I don't think I can stand to watch them pick this place clean for pennies on the dollar. Or, I don't know, maybe I'm just in denial. I'm sorry to hear it. This seems like a nice little shop. Nobody writes letters anymore or sends cards. I might as well sell rotary telephones and AM, FM radios. Get in the car and go someplace for a greeting card. If it's someone's birthday, you got to pick a funny gift while you're sitting on the toilet. And everybody pretends you went out of your way to send a special gift on a special day. All you get back is a smiley face. Oh, a bar mitzvah card. Is that going to do it for you? Well, um, I, uh, not quite. I, uh, I, I need a couple more things. Okay. Um, paper clips. And, uh, hmm. Let's see, paper clips. Oh, and I've been meaning to pick okay. up some of that uh, double-sided tape. Got it. I could sure use some of those thumbtacks. Uh, colored or silver? What? Plastic or metal? Oh, oh, oh uh, plastic. I, I don't want them to uh, rust. Okay. Is that going to do anything? Do it for you? No, well, I can't think of anything else. You decorating at the synagogue? No, why? Bar mitzvah card. Isn't that why you bought it? No, no, I'm, I'm heading to a, a bass tournament. Bass tournament? Like fish? <laughs> Our winner last year had the biggest catch in the state. Well, now, I don't know a lot about fishing, but I sure can't figure out how the paper clips and the tape fit in. No, no, I won't be fishing. I'm the bass master marshal. I, I run the tape, verify the fish is legally hooked in the mouth and not snagged on some other part of his body. Well, and this stuff isn't for, well, you, you can't fish with a paper clip. Why not? Well, I guess you could, but I don't know what they bite on, crawlers or crickets. And you check that the fish is legally hooked in the mouth? Because otherwise that would be cheating. On the fish's part? <laughs> no, not necessarily, not cheating necessarily, but, but we just want to honor a clean catch. And all the other ones, do they get thrown back? Oh, I don't know. If they're too small or a bad catch, huh? 
Hmm. Do fish remember getting caught? I think some do. Bluegill are pretty slow learners, though. I've caught the same fish three times before. How did you know it was the same fish? He was wearing glasses and a plaid tie. <laughs> okay, I see. That's going to be $18. Then you get the discount. Oh, well, I'll just pay the $18. Why? Don't, don't you like a deal? Everybody likes a deal. Well, no, I don't want to be a vulture. Cash? You really are old fashioned. Seriously, let me give you the discount. No, I'm good. In fact, keep the change. Well, I'm, I'm going to be late. Thank you. Yeah. Back so soon? Well, um, you know, the darn car, I, it wouldn't start. Oh, that's too bad. What happens sometimes? Oh, did you call someone? Uh, can't. Uh, my phone's dead. Do you want to use my phone? No, no, it'll be fine. Sometimes the battery just needs to cool off for a few minutes. Uh, it gets too hot and over sparks, you know. Well, okay. Well, you're welcome to wait here. Do you want a cup of coffee or something? Oh, I wouldn't want to be any trouble. Oh, it's no trouble. I got a pot right here on the burner. Cream or sugar? Might be a little bitter. It's been on the burner for a while. Thank you. Mmm, tastes fine to me. I will never understand how anyone could pay eight dollars for a foamy cappuccino double latte thingy. <laughs> Just give me a cup of plain old coffee, and I'm a happy man. You know what I don't understand? What's that? Just about everything. Mm -hmm. It all moves so fast anymore. I just want to find a field of forget-me-nots and flop down in the sun and watch the clouds roll by. Every time I take a picture, it disappears on my phone somewhere, never to be seen again. And do you know what happens when you push O on the phone? The zero, nothing. Operators are a thing of the past, just like checkbooks, green stamps, record players, and me. Well, my kids set up my TV with four different platforms, whatever the hell those are. <laughs> know why I watch the news all the time? It's all I know how to find. I miss playing old cable. I'd love to watch an old episode of Ironsides or Columbo. Turner Classic Movies. Starsky and Hutch. Nash. Yeah. I can tell you a thousand things about my past, but I sure can't figure out what tomorrow's going to look like without this little store. Every day for the past 22 years, I've gotten up, had my coffee, and come to the store, except Sundays. God and I got the day off. <laughs> Not the worst problem to have. Well, here's to well-earned leisure and a time to enjoy. <clears throat> Planning to travel? No plans yet. My feet seem to be stuck in cement here. I honestly can't think by on tomorrow. Well, I could get you in the bass tournament. I'm sure we still got slots open in the ladies' league. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what my thing is, but I'm pretty sure it's not fishing. Thanks, though. <laughs> well, I probably ought to go try the car. How much for the coffee? Oh, please. I invited you. Oh, thank you. Can you keep a secret? Maybe, so long as it's nothing illegal. I'm way too old to do time. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's not illegal. It's just between us. What's between us? I knew your store was closed. It, I heard it was. From who? Well, the word's out on the street. Oh. Are you from around here? Well, I work down at the hotel. Truth is, every day I walk past here when I'm taking my deposit to the bank. And one day, a couple of years ago, I saw you through the window. And I've always wondered if your voice sounded as pretty as you look. 
I'm sorry. Maybe that sounds corny or creepy. I, I didn't mean it to sound creepy at all. I, I take it all back. If it sounded creepy, I am not a it creep. It didn't sound creepy. It, it's kind of sweet, like a glimmer of hope. My wife died seven years ago. I never thought. I mean. Four. Cap died four years ago. So why today? Well, I was listening to the radio the other day, and I heard someone say that last chances are different than first chances and second chances. And I realized if if I didn't get up the guts to come in soon, you'd close up and move on, and I'd lose my only chance. Lose your only chance to what? To meet you. Find out if there really is a lilt in your voice. Maybe have dinner sometime. Are you asking me out? Well, I don't know. I just might be. Do you think you'd accept? I might. But I have to know a couple things first. Like? Like your name. (laughs) I don't even know your name. (laughs) Don. You can call me Don. Daisy, and you can call on me on Saturday, if you'd like. Oh, I think I'd like. Me too.